What is the price of a bottle of Petrus? That's an interesting question we are going to be answering today. So Petrus is obviously one of the very best wines produced in Bordeaux, France. It is also generally considered the most expensive wine produced in Bordeaux, one of the most expensive French wines, one of the most expensive wines in the world. Even though I made a video about the 10 most expensive Bordeaux wines and one small wine that is not all that famous beats Chateau Petrus, I'll link to that video at the very end of this one and I'll let you find out which wine could be more expensive than Petrus. But let's get back to Petrus. The short answer is that Petrus costs around $3,000 a bottle. That's the global average price across all vintages. If you look at the prices on winesearch.com, which is the reference website when it comes to wine prices, and I'll link to it in the description, average cost, in fact, is $3,200 a bottle. But this will vary depending on where you buy the bottle. If you buy it in Europe, it'll cost you around $3,100. While if you buy it in the United States, it'll average across all vintages, again, around $3,400 about 10% more on average. But if you buy it in Japan, well, it will cost you much, much more, around $5,200. The conclusion here, well, don't buy your Petrus when, while you're in Japan. Fly to the United States or to Europe to buy it. But you will also find a significant vintage variation depending on the demand for specific vintages and the quality of each vintage. Obviously, in Bordeaux, the vintage variation can make the quality of the wine vary, the age worthiness of the wine vary, and therefore the demand, the collectability of different vintages. If you're looking for a cheap, relatively cheap, affordable Petrus wine and recent vintages, well, go for a lower quality vintage or what is considered a lower quality vintage, such as 2013, it'll cost you around $2,600. But if you go for a recent vintage in a great, great quality, such as 2015 or 2015, well, it'll be much more expensive, around $4,100. Now, the prices will generally go up as the wine ages because Petrus is an age-worthy wine that you can keep for decades and decades. If you go for a great vintage that is about now 20 years old, like vintage 2000, it'll cost you around $5,800. If you look at a legendary vintage such as 1982, a wine that is nearly 40 years old now, it'll cost you around $5,500. Not so bad when you compare this to vintage 2000. If you want an old vintage of Petrus that is relatively affordable, look at vintage 72, 73 or 74. It will only cost you $1,800. But if you look at legendary old vintages such as 1961, well, it will cost you around $12,000. And that's if you buy it in a wine shop at, at a wine merchant in a restaurant. It will probably cost you more around forty dollars or $50,000. If you look at the legendary 1945 vintage, the best vintage that everyone considered one of the very best vintages of all time, it'll also, in a shop, cost you $12,000, but that will also obviously vary depending on provenance. I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to like it, give it a thumb up to support my work, and share it with your fellow wine-loving friends that may be interested in this. Consider having a look around my YouTube channel where you will find some white tasting videos, wine review videos, wine education videos, everything wine you will find on my channel. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you soon in the wonderful world of wine. Julien Michel signing off. Au revoir, à bientôt, bye bye. You told me I'm your anchor, I told you you're my ball. Through the wind and fire we try to hold on. We build this ship together, searching for our home. Despite the storm that hears, we're still on board.